He's given us joy. Because the word says that the joy of the Lord is my strength. So he's given us all of these things to be able to stand during these times when the enemy wants to blow us off and be distracted. He's given us stuff to help us to fight back and he's nothing else to have having done all to stand. So I just pray today that we will stand. Amen. As I was meditating on this word, God um, showed me a hummingbird. And so I looked up a hummingbird and it was something interesting. A hummingbird has the ability to conserve energy for a time when it makes it more. And so as I thought on the hummingbird, we hummingbird, we need to conserve some of this energy that when we're swinging at the wind and we just aiming at every little thing that comes our way, we got to conserve our energy, choose our balance wisely, because something else may come that needs our energy, and if we're all going out, then what are we going to do? So, I just pray that we be mindful to just um, have the right perspective and have our energy um, stay for the right thing. Also, something that the Lord showed me as I was in meditation on this word, I saw some shoes uh, embedded in And I was like, God, okay, what are you showing me? Do we break for the country to milk? Well, then we'll sink it. Do we pray for the country to break up? But what God gave me was, when we feel stuck in a situation, come up out of those shoes and walk in some new shoes, in a new way. What are those new shoes? Be ye not transformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We have to walk differently to get unstuck. So we have to trust God and be confident in Him and His strength that through His word our mind can be there's something it, it's interesting because God does it in different ways a lot of stuff is pictures now um, but what the Lord had said was to make sure that we are not to every listening ear. Because every listening ear, God did not send it to us. We have to be careful of who we're taking comfort from and comfort in. Because something may seem friendly, something may seem good, something may seem nice, but it don't mean God's interest. They may listen to everything you have to say. Don't mean God's interest. And then sometimes we still have an opinion. I can be honest, I done talked to every girl that would listen, and I had to learn the hard way. But I had to learn that my strength came from God and His spirit that's always tuned into me and listening to me. And He always has the right answer. I got to a place of 
couple weeks ago, but well, every night I'm crying concerning a burden that I have for people. But I had to realize I can't do it. I can't encourage you know. I can pray and continue to pray. But at some point, it's going to take that person's individual choice for things to change for them. And I was told, how can you love me? And you are going to come around me. You need space. I can love you from a distance. Because it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of surrender to go to God for him to clean up all of these broken, wounded places that you have in us. For him to heal us and deliver us and purge us and cleanse us. And people in that mess is not worth going back to a place where God is going to be. Because it's 
when we're pursuing our purpose that we get more of what God is doing. I don't want us to be distracted by anything that's happening. But I want us to be strong in God and keep our eyes on what He is doing for us. The distractions come to throw us off. But that's when we need to say, okay, God, you're doing something. What's going on? What are you doing? What are you saying to me? What are you releasing to me? What are you trying to get me positioned for? What are you trying to clean up in me so I can be right when it comes? Because some of this stuff, when it comes, you see our character ain't good about the Lord. And so, we let God clean up. And we just trust and depend on Him to be our strength. Amen. There's something um, that I need to share. God told me this morning, she had put light up. And I'm a transparent person. God told me to put the light on the So I want to share something that I struggle with. And this is what I'm trusting God to be my strength for. Um, I come from a family of preachers. I had an uncle who was a preacher within the ministry. I had a cousin who was a preacher within the ministry. I had an uncle who continued to preach, but everything wasn't like it should have been. But he had such an anointing on his mind. And I would wonder what would his ministry have looked like had he surrendered stuff to God and just laid it down before him. And so when I look at the struggles of the preachers in my family, I struggle with consistency. God has increased me. I've seen increase in the gifting. I've seen increase in the revelation of the word. But I struggle with being consistent. And I beat myself up about it because I'm like, God, you're so good. And yet I still struggle. And so I'm checking my posture. And I'm shaking my position. As I get ready for this purpose. But whoever will pray for me. Whenever I come to you, my party, that I will learn to be more consistent, that God will be glorified. And then if we all just take the time and let our pride go and be transparent and be honest and say, hey, you know what? I'm dealing with something too. I need God to help me. When we be real, when we can take our face off that we put on in front of folks, then we're in a position to get help and to move forward. So that, that's just one thing um, that I, I, I need God to help me with. Amen. So if you're going to pray, pray. If you're going to talk, talk. Um, it is what it is. But if you're going to pray, pray. Amen. All right. So um, I have shared with you what God has given me. So just remember that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Remember that Jesus is our friend who sticks closer than a brother. He is the one who came that we may have life and life more abundantly. And there's this thing about when we meet up with God and, and praise and prayer and worship, there's this thing that happens is a divine exchange between us and Him. And everything that has weighed us down, everything that has burdened us, everything that has hurt us and made us cry, it releases from us and we allow it. And then he releases something back to us like joy and peace and courage and strength and the ability to keep on. That's when he releases and gives us the ability to knock up on wings as people so that we run and not be weary and so that we walk and not faint. So I just pray that everyone here, I pray we got something from um, the message. And I pray that you continue to let God be your strength. Don't be distracted by what's going on. Keep expecting God to me. Amen.